Good evening and welcome to the Hugo Lambrex Auditorium and for joining me, Louise Howlett, from the Cape Town Concert Series for the finals of the fifth South African Conductors' Competition. The competition was formerly the Length and Sail Conductors' Competition, who initiated in 2009 and through his commitment and financial support, four competitions have taken place so far. However, due to his ill health, it was necessary for the CPO to take over the running of the competition completely, which they've managed to do with the very necessary and welcome support from the city of Cape Town. Everybody's just getting seated, and the orchestra is preparing to settle down, and then the CEO of the orchestra, Louis Hainan, will come to the stage and open the proceedings. Just, just tuned with Philip Martens, who's the concert master for this evening. So, while the orchestra tunes, getting ready for the beginning of this competition. gentlemen, on behalf of our board of directors, welcome to the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra's fifth conductors' competition. I'm Louis Heinemann, the CEO and artistic director of the orchestra. We are proud to be able to present the fifth edition of this triennial competition, the only competition of its kind in South Africa. Developing young musicians is extremely important and equally important is to invest in our young conductors. We are indebted to Len van Sale, who 12 years ago had the vision to start this competition and to the public support we are receiving since then to continue. Uh, he's not currently in, a good, in a good health and we ask his son Louis van Sale to hand over the medals to the winners at the end of the competition later tonight. Without repeating anything mentioned in the printed program, allow me to thank everybody who worked relentlessly behind the scenes to make the competition possible. The organizers, the judges, all the entrants, the members of the orchestra, the solos, and the stage crew. Starting with 18 entrants last year and master classes at the end of last year, we ended up with six semi-finalists printed in your program tonight. The three finalists that will com complete tonight, co compete tonight um, in alphabetical order is Jason Atherton, Jakubus de Jager, and Richard Keen. They will perform in that same order. Uh, and each will have an overture and then a first movement of a concerto. They drew lots to allocate the particular work to each of the contestants. After the three candidates, there will be a 10-minute toilet break only. And while the previous winner 
of the competition in 2019, Scott van der Merwe, will conduct the Fledermaus Overture. The judges will hopefully make their final decision uh, about the winner. In conclusion, we will announce the winner in a short prize-giving ceremony. We are streaming the concert live on the internet, uh, and it will also be available on YouTube afterwards. Just in case you want to jump in front of a camera and show your face to the whole world. <laughs> en en enjoy the evening with us. Thank you. Okay. So the first competitor is coming on. It's Jason Atherton, who began his career um, at the New Apostolic Church at the age of six, singing and learning both piano and recorder. And two years later, he added violin lessons and studied at the Beausoleil Music Centre, but from the age of eight already. So on Jason comes now. He's been continuing his studies at the Stellenbosch University with violin and choral conducting and organ. The audience is very, very receptive towards him. And uh, we're looking forward to hearing him now. The first work, the overture from Corollian by Beethoven.
is the opening work for this evening with Jason Atherton, the overture to Carillion by Beethoven. A very great start, never easy to start. And Jason, as I mentioned, a multi instrumentalist, but also he studied opera with Virginia Davids in 2018. He started the Cape Town Opera Chorus as an ad hoc member and then he played Prize in the Selection of Song Competition and making himself a name for himself actually uh, also as a tenor, particularly in the Baroque repertoire. So you've possibly seen him with the Cape Town Baroque Ensemble um, before now, but as you can see, conducting is very much a part of his world. And the stage now being reset for the next piece coming up, which is the first movement from Mozart's Piano Concerto Number no. 2 with the soloist Itzhak van der Merwe. And Itzhak started out as a percussionist at Beausoleil Music Centre, also studying with Frank Mallows in 2012, before learning the piano with Tressa de Kruip from 2014 and cello in 2015, also at Beausoleil. And he played cello in the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, Youth Orchestra, for several years. But it is as a pianist that he has really come into his own now, already winning prizes in the senior pan piano category at the Johan Foss competition, the Peter Coy competition, as well as the winner of this year's Henry Joubert piano competition. And he's currently uh, in his first year, BMA student at UCT with Francois de Toy. So there's the piano and the orchestra getting ready for that. And then we're going to welcome back the conductor Jason Atherton. One of three finalists in this competition. Six have been working throughout the week. And I'll tell you more about the rules and regulations of the competition in a bit. Now the orchestra's tuning. Philip Martens checking to make sure the piano's in good place. And we welcome back onto stage Jason Atherton and it's at Van der
So that was the piano by Concerto, so I know that piano Concerto with its from the mayor that playing there. Uh, with uh, Jason Atherton conducting that piano concerto number 20, the first movement, and that concludes the first of the finalists. And a very warm uh, applause from the audience for both of them for a wonderful performance there. It's up for the Nerva with the Mozart piano concerto number 20, the first movement, conducted by Jason Atherton. In case you're wondering um, what sort of criteria the judges are uh, looking for, I'm Jason Kennedy, and of course, big, a big applause for both of them. Wonderful. Yes, if you've been wondering what sort of criteria the judges are looking for in this competition, um, you can find out that uh, there was a questionnaire that went to the judges. Oh, it's a lewd line there that's been given to the judges. They appreciate it after this, I'm sure. They need to have the ability to communicate their musical intentions and vision non verbally and verbally to the orchestra. The ability to listen, react, and anticipate during rehearsals and performance. Show a clear knowledge of theory, understanding of the score and its musical content in style. Show understanding of group psychology and inspire musicians by being the musical advocate of the composer and the score. So those are the things that the judges are looking for this evening um, as we watch this competition. And as they're moving the piano away, I can tell you about the next competitor we have coming up. Um, and this is with Jakobus de Jager, who is currently the conductor of the Stellenbosch University Symphony Orchestra. And he studied his, uh, started his studies at Stellenbosch in 2016 with Corbin Matai, moving to Daniel Boyko since 2018. And in 2019, he studied with Alexander Polishak at the St. Petersburg Conservatory and 2021 participated with the Meta Artists International Leadership and Management Workshop for, con for Conductors with lecturers such as Simon Rattle and Parvo Yarvi. In addition to conducting, he's completing his MS in piano performance with Nina Schumann and Luis Makalaish. So again, multi-instrumentalists, it's always very important for conductors to have an understanding of the instruments around them, of course. The overture he's going to be presenting is also by Mozart uh, from The Magic Flute. Please the overture from the magic flute by Mozart.
Well, there we have. That was the overture from the Magic Flute by Mozart and uh, the very striking staff from Jacobus Diaho. Uh, one of his highlights actually recently was as the assistant conductor to the Stellenbosch International Chamber Music Festival where he conducted the world premiere of Kathleen Tagg's Please Dream, in his words, a tribute to Desmond Tutu, which was very exciting. Um, so he's had some quite... Uh, fantastic uh, conducting experiences happening this year certainly that he ends up being in this competition as well in the finals next up we have more Mozart with the first movement from his clarinet concerto K622 performance by Lance Teisner and Lance embarked on a musical career at the New P Apostolic Church where he sang in the children's choir and learnt the recorder before turning to the clarinet with Warren Potentia at the Athlone Academy of Music which graduated from the University of Cape Town with a BMUS and postgraduate diploma in clarinet performance under the tutelage of Becky Steltzner. So we're going to see him now coming back onto the podium, Jakobus de Jager, with soloist Lance Teisner for the first movement of Mozart's clarinet concerto K622. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sunday we have Jakub Estiata conducting the Lance Case with the first movement of Mozart's Clarinet Concerto K622. support the audience members for competitions like this for any event really and again a very welcome bottle of my lead coming onto the stage to say thank you for playing and conducting our third finalist to take the podium is Richard Kuhn Richard graduated with a BMAS and MMAS from Stellenbosch University with specializations in composition and orchestration and orchestral conducting respectively and he studied composition with Hans Rosenskuhn orchestral conducting with Corbin Mattai and choral conducting with Martin Berger he's been an active uh, conductor since 2012 and is resident conductor at the Wynans Philharmonic Orchestra Stellenbosch University Medical Orchestra and assistant conductor at the University of Stellenbosch Symphonic Wind Ensemble and he's conducted orchestras uh, around the country as well as the National Youth Orchestra. His overture is from Weber, it's going to be Der Freischutz. So the orchestra's just tuning and preparing for that. And so we welcome to the podium our third and final <laughs> finalist for this evening's conducting competition, Richard Kim conducting Vader's Overture from Death Battle.
The Richard Hinn, the conducting Weber's overture from Dirk Freitschitz. Richard has competed in this competition before and in 2019 he also reached the finals. And he's now going to be joined by violinist Samantha Durrant for the first movement of the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto in E minor, Opus 64. Samantha Durrant is the principal second violin with the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, so familiar face to those that come to the symphony seasons regularly. She obtained a performance diploma in music from UCT under the tutelage of Farida Bakarova, and she's won many prizes and performed as soloist with local ensembles, as well as having an interest also in Baroque performance. And she also participated recently as an assistant faculty member in the 2022 Stellenbosch International Chamber Music Festival.
So the orchestra just tuning there. In preparation for this final piece in this competition. And we're going to welcome back on stage now Samantha Durrant with Richard Kuhn for the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto in E minor, Opus 64, first movement.
and then that is Richard Quinn conducting Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto in E minor, Opus 64, the Samantha Barrett, and a rousing applause at the end of that wonderful piece of music, and a wonderful finish to this competition. What a privilege it's been to watch all this wonderful music on a Sunday evening. Support from the audience, standing ovation of that, and all deserve to. And congratulations also to the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra for such a busy orchestra, busy with ballet, symphony seasons, and on top of that, being helping with the rehearsals for this competition over this past week. The orchestra is going to take a short break now for a few minutes, I think, and then they're going to come bon back on and have the winner of the fourth competition, Scott van der Merwe. He's going to come and play the Fledermaus Overture by Strauss. And in the corner, right at the very top hand, you might be able to see um, that there were some people sitting there who've now left, and those were the judges um, who have been preparing for this competition over the past week. Not an easy task, I must say. There have been um, a number of judges, the lead judge, as it were, or the uh, overseer of the, of the competition this year has been Alain Team, and um, he took over from Viktor Jampolsky as the artistic director of the competition um, last year in 2021. As you see the orchestra is now taking a short break, I thought they might be, which is good because then I can, I can give you a full um, layout of who is behind the scenes for this competition. So, as I mentioned, Alain Team is the artistic head of the competition this year. He is Professor of Orchestral Conducting at the Maastricht Conservatoire in the Netherlands, where he'll be hosting both the fourth and fifth competition winners. The fourth being, as I mentioned, Skolk van der Merwe, who was not able to take up his residency previously because of COVID. So he's been unable to travel um, and take up that position. So the two of them will, will go together. Of course, alongside tonight's winner, whoever that may be. Ariane is also principal conductor and artistic director of the Marine Band of the Royal Netherlands Navy and principal conductor of the VU Orchestra in Amsterdam. He conducts across Europe, Asia, South America and Africa. And it's always very welcome when we get him back here for the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra symphony seasons. Alongside him tonight, no stranger to Cape Town audiences, we have Bernard Guller, Principal Guest Conductor of the CPO and Music Director Laureate at Symphony Nova Scotia where he was the Musical Director from 2003 through right through to 2018. And he's also a regular co Guest Conductor with all the orchestras uh, in South Africa as well as a number overseas that he still attends to. Next up we have Richard Clock who has been involved with the competition since its inception. Originally the music director of the National Symphony Orchestra, he has for the last 20 years directed and conducted many major concerts throughout Southern Africa and is very much a household name here. Then following on the panel this evening we have Brandon Phillips. Brandon was the winner of the very first Lenfen Sale conducting competition and he has gone on to see his career evolve from one of orchestral music where bassoon was his main instrument, although he also plays a number of string instruments, to conducting the CPO, the Johannesburg Philharmonic and also Cape Town City Ballet which he's currently busy with now with the orchestra. Uh, so in between conducting the ballet and performing uh, with the ballet this week, they've also been rehearsing with these competitors. 
Next up, we have the winner of the third competition, Chad Hendricks. He spent a month-long internship with the Philadelphia Orchestra in the U.S. under the baton of Maestro Yannick Nedzetseguin and a semester in the Master's Conducting Program at the Bienen School of Music, Northwestern University in Chicago, with Viktor Jampolsky. And finally on the panel we have Louis Heinemann, who has been the CEO of the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra since its inception in the year 2000. And he has established it to be a leading orchestra in Africa and has overseen the orchestra's vast youth development and education programs which are truly transforming the landscape of orchestras in this country. The judges are now deliberating this very difficult task during this short break. And as I mentioned, there are many things that they have to look out for. And during this time, they have been doing rehearsals. They've had been some masterclasses this past week. And the criteria for the success also included a written test, which included questions posed at university levels for students of music to assume a basic knowledge of theory, history of music, composition styles, also including technical skills, understanding of orchestration, transposing of instruments, and most importantly, communication skills. So all of these things are what the judges are looking for this evening. And it was really um, a wonderful experience. There was 15 different uh, competitors that took part in this competition and entered it for this year, and it got down to six and those six have been the ones that have come into this final section of the competition. And um, the other three competitors who made it through to the, to the finals, uh, to the semi-finals, should I say rather, was also um, including two uh, young women, Micah Marie Kuntz and also Siobhan Pleikies, along with cellist Dane Kutzia. So it was quite high standards all around and really interesting for everyone to experience and be part of that. Welcome back. We are back for the finals of the fifth South African Conductors' Competition here at Hugo Lambrook's Auditorium, brought to you with the support of the city of Cape Town. My name is Louise Howlett. I'm from the Cape Town Concert Series. It's been really a uh, privilege to be able to see this competition unfold. Such a tricky amount of things that you've got to look at when dealing with a conductor. And the conductor that's going to come now is Skulk van der Merwe, who was the winner of the 2019 competition. And while the judges are deliberating, he's going to be coming on to play the overture from Strauss's D. Fledermaus. The orchestra are tuned and they're ready to go.
Nicholas Skolk van der Merwe with Strauss's the Fledermouse Overture. A wonderful way to end this part of the competition. As I said before, Skulk was the 2019 winner. He began his musical studies in 2011 at the University of Pretoria, majoring in orchestral conducting under the Dutch conductor Herben Horten for his BMAS degree. And there the orchestra goes, what a fantastic playing will come from them this evening after such a busy time that they have. So I say thank you to the uh, Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra for all the work that they do. Skolk van der Merwe, as I said, continued his postgraduate studies at the university and uh, he also now lectures there. He currently holds the position of principal conductor and music director of the University of the Pretoria Symphony Orchestras as well as conductor of the Sempre Opera Company, the Symphony Chorus of Pretoria and the Capital Chamber Orchestra. He's conducted orchestras from the Cape Town Philharmonic, the Joburg Philharmonic Orchestra, KwaZulu Natal Philharmonic Orchestra and the South African National Youth Orchestra. He's also an opera conductor, as I mentioned, with the Sempre Opera, and he's served twice as Gerard Corsten's assistant, most recently with the Vorarlberg Symphony Orchestra in Bregenz, Austria. Van der Merwe will be the guest of Maestro Tien, as I mentioned before, following the cancellation of his original um, time there in 2019 due to COVID following winning the competition and he was just recently here in Cape Town also for the marriage of Figaro which I also went to up to Rudaport and really had a great success with this production so he's really making a mark here in South Africa and of course looking forward to going overseas to gain more experience. So now we're waiting while the stage gets set and ready for the judges who are still deliberating not an easy task as I mentioned. So we're going to leave you for a few minutes and then we're going to come back with the final results. Welcome back to the competition, the South Ladies African and Conductors Competition. And it looks like the judges are ready to go. We're handing over to the chair of the judging panel, Maestro uh, Arian Tim from the Netherlands, who's also a regular guest conductor at the Cape Town Philharmonic. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. This evening concludes a series of master classes that started in October last year and continued the past week. Six talented and committed young conductors, conducting students, embarking on their path to learn a complex profession demanding a great variety of skills and continuous hard work. I would like to thank and compliment the CTPO, the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, for initiating and supporting this unique in South Africa, valuable and necessary opportunity to develop, to develop young conductors. The entire musical South African scene, all orchestras, will benefit from this investment. I also would like to thank the City Council and my predecessor, Maestro Viktor Jampolski, for their support and initiative of the South African Conductors Competition since 2010. A special thank you to Len van Sel, for his long support of this competition. Unfortunately, he can't be here in person, but he will be, presented, uh, uh, he will be represented by his son, Louis van Sel, who will also present the medal to the winner of the fifth South African Conductors' Competition. It has been a joy and a privilege to watch all candidates grow during the master classes. Our compliments to all of you. Now, without further ado, I would like to present to you the winner of this fifth South African Conductors' Competition, but before I do so, I would like to ask um, Louis van Sel to come and assist. Yes, the prize winner of the fifth South African Conductors' Competition is Jacobus de Jager.
in alphabetical order the two runners-up. Uh, also a warm applause and a big compliment from us. Also, they did their two medals. Thank you all very much for your support of this fifth South African uh, Conductors' Competition and for your support of the Cape Town Philharmonic. We hope to see you often and frequently and perhaps see you on the 6th. Thank you very much and have a nice evening. So there we have it, we come to the end of the fifth South African conducting competition here at the Hugo Langrex Auditorium for this evening. Gosh, it's all been very gripping. We thank the city of Cape Town for their continued support and also behind the scenes to Marek Pinsky and his team of Musicscapes for the sound and live streaming that you've been watching this evening and to the wonderful playing of the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, to Louis Hainan for all his hard work, and as you can see there on the stage, Shirley Guller, who is integral in so many aspects behind the scenes of all the act activities of this busy, busy orchestra. And then we have to say thank you to you for joining us and watching this new generation of conductors here in South Africa, with the winner, as you heard there, Jacobus Diaka, this year for the fifth South African Conductors Competition. And so from us here backstage that we have to say thank you for joining us and if you'd like more information you can follow all the CPO activities through your through the website thecpo.org.za and also tell all your friends you can still tune into this. We've live streamed this but it's still going to be available on the, the channel. So we say thank you again to the judges also, Ariane Team, Bernard Guller, Richard Cock, Brandon Phillips, Chad Hendricks, Louis Hayneman, and to all of you out there, from me, Louise Howlett, all that's left to say is thank you for watching and goodbye.